Suppose I'm going to take this board apart today. What I do with the, some of the boxes, I've talked you through the gold processing bins I've got. It's actually my processing box. It's destroyed, look at that. <laughs> I processed it into the next life. So yeah, I've just got different things in there. Like I see you grinder on, I just don't have the time. Little things, like you can find these in microwaves. See, I've tried to put a grinder to that. Didn't really work very well. But with most microwaves, you find now you... One out of ten has like aluminium wire, so it's not worth it. There's some dangerous things in them as well, like radioactive components and I think beryllium. I was reading on some forum. Oh, my neighbour just walked past with a <laughs> <He's paid. laughs> He usually drinks a beer. <laughs> I like his style. Back to the video. So these are low grades. So just all the low grades in there. I process them all. My idea, I have to get 200 grams of potential gold. Now I'm going to give you the gold, what you'd find in each one. But like I said in the last video, it's, it's not guaranteed you're going to get 100% purity if you just do this yourself. This is best case scenario, you take it to the foundry. So low grade, you're looking at about a gram of gold there. Mid grade, it's going to be expecting two to three grams of gold on that one. If it's done right, of course. <laughs> but if you come to me and you want $150 for like a one mid grade board, <laughs> I'll send you on your way in a polite manner. <laughs> you know it's all about processing and then and the cost of like getting it out to the foundry and getting it all melted down so that's what you got to think as well so this is why people pay for it and i'm being honest with you guys because most youtubers will just go bring it to me and you'll be wondering why do you want it and that's why you know because there's some gold to be made in this but it has to be done right and there's money and time going into this and it can be risk as well because sometimes like i said there's a range it could be two to three grams in mid grade one gram at least in low grade which is why i don't really go for it because you know it could be less than that as well Plus all the metal can muddy the waters on the purity levels of the gold. So it's not worth it too much. But I do pick it up and it's free. It's worth it if it's free. <laughs> you scabby peasant board. <laughs> and this one here, my high grade board box. High grade boards can range between 5 to 9 grams at least. You can see that. So if you were to process it and get the best money, that one you'd get $50 a board. Possibly if it was high grade. But this is why I've got the grading system, you know, because I've got low grades, mid grades, and high grades. And there's low, mid, and high grades of the low grade. Same goes for any other grade, you know, there's, there's different classifications. Working on that, you know, one gram of gold for low grades, like the high grade version of the low grade boards. Anything less, I mean, it comes down significantly. Same with mid grade, you know, the average tyre mid grade board, looking at probably two grams of gold, whereas the higher end of the mid grade is three grams. Same as this, the high grade of the high would be nine grams. Your basic PC boards like I've got there, you probably get about three to five grams off them, gold-wise. I could be wrong with this, guys, but this is what I've read, you know, in terms of the gold conversion rates of your boards. That's something to think about. You know, you can set up a similar system to me. You know, you've got your gold buckets. But these, you might be wondering, there's not a lot of gold in these at all. I just keep them there, you know, because... I mean, these are flashed. I reckon I can get a gram of gold, maybe. But I'm not sure of the conversion gold rates for those. These are like sort of mid higher solid gold things. I put like boards like the one I saw in the last video. And stuff like that. That's off an old printer. But look at those gold contact pins. Quite nice. And like I showed you in the last video with the mobile parts. These mobiles actually will more gold. Mobiles are just like what we want. <laughs> so it's brilliant. Because you get nine grams of gold for that per kilo, easily. <laughs> and this is what I say about mobile muster. You go into all your little shops and some guy's going, give it to us for free. You go and drop your mobiles into that bin and you're just giving greasy businessmen nine grams of gold for free for every kilo of phone you drop in. So why not get paid for it, you know? Come and see me. <laughs> I'll process it. Not everyone can take apart these phones either. I've got special tools to take apart the phones. And because I've worked in phones for three years in Vodafone, I know a bit about them. So yeah. So this one was an old Samsung, I think it was. So you can see there, model GT18150. Can't remember what Samsung, I know it was my first smartphone. <laughs> so you look at my first smartphone, yeah. <laughs> I'll get a few calls on this later, I think. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about this, because I, I did work with electricians for, for a while. I was a trade assistant for, for about six months. Um, so I learned a bit about electronics, which is why I was confident to come into scrapping as well. This is an RCD, so it's a residual circuit device, I think. I could be wrong on, on that. Isolates the, the pathways for your electrical systems in your house, so this will turn off and on. The RCD protects the, the, the board, you know, your electrical board, so it doesn't blow out all the other switches and, like, basically fry all the wire in your house. 
I think that's what it is anyway. I could be wrong. Could just be a switch to like uh, like a light circuit, like your fridge or something. But I do believe there's copper or brass or some gold in this as well. I can't really open this. I don't really want to open it either because I'm not sure what else is in there. But I know there is some valuable metals in this, so have a look for them if you find them. I found this on in the, the skip. <laughs>